We're experiencing technical difficulties. We'll be on the air in a moment. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go back with B&D Chronicles, starring your host, Beamer! Dawn! With their two boys, Tyler and Bradley. Together, and with their two children, this dynamic duo make up what is known as B&D Chronicles. So as they're out and about, just peeping around, you never know who these two might even run into. It could be Graham, it could be aliens, it could even be this guy! It could even be this lovely couple right here. So strap yourselves in, make yourself comfortable, and get ready to go back with B and D Chronicles. Well, good afternoon. Welcome back, everybody. We're back. So this one, we're gonna be starting holiday shopping. We have to pick up a tree. We have to dance crazy because I mean, yeah, it's already started. So we're only one week into November. We are a little crazy. We do start before Thanksgiving. So you know how that goes. But we gotta get to Augusta and we gotta get this going quick. And then tomorrow we'll be getting everything set up. So come along. This is gonna be a two day event. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's going on, Brad? Hello. Hello. What's going on, Cole? Oh, apparently white. I love I your channel, you. by the way. My what? I love your channel, by the way. Oh, thank you. If you haven't I checked have that out, video coming soon. if you haven't checked that out, that's going to be permanently in the description down below and every other video. So we're here at Mulligan's again. Stopped off to get us some crispy chicken. I think our first stop is going to be over at the Christmas tree shop, which is just up the street a little bit. I'm uh, just going to see what kind of stuff they have Christmas-wise. Give me a light. <laughs> anyway. Um, oh, it's busy in here. The last time we came through here, remember how uh, the traffic yeah. was nuts? What, two weeks ago when we came to get back to the future? Yeah, we should have gone to the other side of town and then came over. Oh, wow. Uh, so we're going to go over there, check and see what they have. Might be able to take you guys along. If not, I like to show you the outside of the sign. I love the outside of the uh, Christmas tree shop. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Missed. It's getting dark. What was going on? Where'd you guys go? You like jazz? You guys know what I'm going to say, right? Save the clock tower! Save the clock tower! Save the clock tower! Save the clock tower! I need to mention, actually, in memorial for the lady that actually played that part. She recently just passed away, so I'd like to send my regards out for her because you guys know I'm a big fan of Back to the Future. And, of course, there's a clock tower. So... Save the clock tower! I had to say, save the clock tower. It's just, it's just what you do. It's a Wookiee stocking. A stocking for Wookiees. Oh, that's a really cute advent calendar. Actually, those are all really cool. Including Ooh. these little ones too. Ooh, I actually like that. Are you thinking about it? We are actually on the hunt for a new Christmas tree. Actually, a bigger Christmas tree than we had last year. Probably going to go with the one at Target. And lights. Lots of lights this year. We want to decorate the outside of the house. And holy cow, look at the, all the nutcrackers. That is a lot of nutcrackers. Nutcrackers. It's there. Oh, that is so cool. It's been too much energy. Oh, man. An army. That's perfect for you, man. That's awesome. Well, I guess you could say Merry Christmas on that one. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle. That's cute. Hey, sweetie. The old advent calendars. The ones with the chocolate in it. Remember getting those as you were a kid? Uh -huh. As we get out of the matrix there. Mr. Wizard, get me the hell out of here. 
Got ourselves uh, quite a bit of stuff. Gonna head over to Target next. I think that's where we're gonna get the tree, right? Target. Over at Target. And I think we're also gonna be purchasing a Keurig because we do have a coffee pot, but I think she's tired of making a full pot. And most of the time it, it ends up- wasteful. Yeah, very wasteful, so. Yeah, so just gonna load up the car. And I love the outside of this place. Take one oh, last thank look. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Say goodbye to the clock tower for now. Head over to Target. Just like that. And I hit my target. Indeed. Stay on target. Stay on target. Last time I was here, there was a lot more Back to the Future stuff, but still, not bad. There's Doc Brown from the future. So as you guys know, I collect pops. That would be an amazing one to have. It is, however, 30 bucks. And that is the that girl that I got last time we were here. So looking at some gift wrap, baby? Yeah. So many to choose from every year. Hi, Bradley. Hello. Wonder Woman, wait a second. How'd you get here? All right, so to see which tree we're gonna go with. Originally, the tree was a little more than it was listed online. However, while walking through here, look at these. Tiny little menorahs, only 15 bucks. Those are super cute. They have two different options. Really cool. What'd you find? Donut. Ah. A bit. Definitely a bit. All right. So we got quite a few things. Well, some, a lot of stuff for her. I got my own stuff. But now we got to head Everything to the. from the purse to the tums is for me. Yeah. Uh, so we didn't find the tree that we wanted, like we said. And we still got to find some more decorations. We're going to probably, probably just end up getting those at Wally World. So. We're headed to the other side of town. I'm on the hunt for a Back to the Future Hallmark. Uh, they have a DeLorean. I think they even have one with Marty. So I am looking for that. I'm hoping to find them. They do have them online. I just kind of wanted to get them in person. So I have them for tomorrow when we decorate the tree and the house and all that stuff. But all in all, we got the target. Got some, some good stuff. So I was wrong. It's actually the paper store over by where Spirit of Halloween was at one point. They do have Hallmark in here. So hopefully I can actually find my Back to the Future ornaments that I've been looking for for a while. Okay, so I didn't quite find it yet, but that is pretty sweet. The US Enterprise MCC 1701. No bloody A, B, C, or D. Look at that brand. You know what that is? Star Trek Enterprise. Yes, it is. And look at all these other ones. Those are really, really cool. Yeah, yep. yep. Those are pretty them. cool. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Oh my goodness. Yeah. A little bit on the pricey side, but still really cool. For all my Disney friends and family out there, the Jungle Cruise. You know, that's one way to spread some holiday spirit, wouldn't you say, Lord Vader? I find your lack of faith disturbing. That's exactly what I thought. Success. Mission accomplished. I found it. At least one of them that I'm looking for. Okay, this is super cool. A bit on the pricey side, but hey. When the inches creak in Dora's chamber, I'll echo through the That is awesome, baby. Ha <laughs> So super success. Mission complete. Um, I did stop for a whole minute that uh, Star Trek Enterprise, the Enterprise that you saw is actually a tree topper. And there's also some uh, keepsake ornaments that go with them separately that you can buy. And they're all interconnected and different things that you do, they actually do some really cool stuff. Like it does the opening to the original series. The Kirk one will uh, talk and everything. Just really, really cool. A lot of, a lot more stuff that I might even come back to get some more. So just gotta stop off at a couple other places before we head back. Big sporting goods. Don needs to get a uh, new type of uh, hot thermos type thing cup 
for uh, work. So the way uh, her stuff can stay nice and hot the entire time that she has to work. And of course, we're just looking around, having a good time, just hanging out, hanging out. To face. Hey everybody, sorry, uh, we got kind of busy. And uh, yeah, I forgot to film last night. Hey, who's that? <gasps> I don't know who that is. It's been a long time. Been a long time. Everybody says hi, by the way. Hi. <laughs> so we got something new. I'd like to show you guys. Well, I got something. Yeah. Me you do. Me you do? All right. Let's, let's see this. All right. So what we got going on here? Coffee. 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 New coffee. So she got a Keurig in the color that actually matches the KitchenAid that she has. A very limited space where we live. So, turn the power button on. Yep. Yeah. You flip up the back and there's oh. a water reservoir, but you fill it every time you want to make one. Hmm. Instead of letting water sit. Yeah. Close the back. Yeah. Pop it open. And oh, that's me too. you got that too last night as well. Nice. Really cool. Save space. You can just take care of the uh, you put box. The cup in, yeah. Close it. That lights up. And then you push that. And I haven't used this yet. Like for coffee, I just did cleaning cycles. Yeah, always clean it for sure. Ooh, no, it sounds like it's heating up the water. Funny noises the other ones do. Yep. Oh, that's a cup of coffee. And just add a couple things. So she likes this. Pumpkin spice latte stuff. So what we got going on today? I gotta go to the store. Oh, okay. Um, finish reorganizing the kitchen. Yeah. Because right now it's exploded. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I I deep cleaned the counter and a bunch of other stuff, and it didn't just kind of end up right on the there. Table. Yeah. Like I said, we live in very limited space. We don't always show you everything all the time. That's why I'm usually right up, up here. Close. Yeah. It's because we don't have a lot of thought to store things. And we yeah. have two households trying to live in one small home. Yeah. I mean, literally, our bedroom is just right over there. But it's a roof over our head. So, you know, really can't complain. Like, and we all get to all. spend a lot of time yeah, together. Yeah, we really do. Uh which has been nice during these times. And, you know, and every now and then we have some friends May I over. You for a moment? What, what, what? A spoon. A spoon? A spoon. Spoon? Why a spoon, cousin? Why not a knife? Because it's dull, you twit. It'll hurt more. So with that all out of the way, we got a few things to take care of, get some things organized, and then of course we gotta go to the store, and then we'll be back. All right guys, so we've been in a climate change, right? Normally, it's very cold out. Look, I'm actually wearing shorts. Wow. It is actually very warm out right now. It actually feels very nice. I don't like it. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, Toto. I don't like it. I like cooler weather because I have really cute fall clothes and I just bought a super cute pair of boots. Last well, night. Nice. Yeah, I didn't get to wear them yet because now it's too warm. I'm wearing sandals. And it's supposed to be like this off and on for the next week or so. Everyone's going to get That's projected. Sick. Oh boy. Yeah. Wonderful. So let's get the show on the road. Gonna be looking for some stuff to put on the outside of the house. Over in the lilac bush, I'm gonna try and see if those uh, 
I'm gonna try and see if I can get some of those lights outside to work. They've been sitting there for a while, so. Don't hold a lot of hope for them. Mm -mm. Not like Princess Leia did with uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. We gonna get going, my dabs? I think so. We'll be back somewhere, someplace, in some time. I thought we were going. Uh, Definitely gonna be an empty soul with this freaking weather. It was a little bit later. Actually fell asleep. Haven't really slept all that great lately, so we're cleaning this area off. I think we're gonna be condensing some of these down. Cause right now I really don't they kinda as you can see they're just kinda just piled up. I have some more down in there. And it's just yeah. Don't wanna show you too much because one day I want to just have, take a day for us to show you our collection and that's going to be done on a special setting probably in a much bigger area hey sweetie come here what so you want to see something really cool why not editing magic watch this all right so we got all that done well, that didn't work very well did it it's a little bit later I'm actually dealing kind of with some little issues. I took a thing of canned air and accidentally had it upside down, trying to mess around to spray a fly. I sprayed it white in my face. And yeah, that's not fun. It's kind of hot. So I'm, ugh. I'm going to set you guys up with time lapse of us getting it together because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be a little irritable and I don't want to bring that on you guys we're gonna play our usual movie scrooge look at this check this out turn off the lights for a minute got these uh these are glow that look like uh lanterns like outside lanterns it's pretty magical Looks really really cool hi sweet Tums. Hi. you ready to start this thing all right. So a little lights on. Back, kind of put a couple things up already. A little uh, mistletoe type thing. It says you know what to do. What are you doing back there? Oh, okay. All right. So roughly, probably from this angle, let's get it going. There we go. We got part of it unboxed. This is all of it unboxed. Here, let me uh, change the lighting here. There we go. Just a, a little bit brighter. And I uh, <laughs> uh, love this movie. So, that thing down there, the bottom of it right there, that thing is super heavy. I mean, I haven't touched it yet, but this is why we wanted it. It's tall, but nice and thin. It's not fluffed yet. No, not yet, but it will be, like. Alright, so just like that, look at that, that is very, very nice. May I squeeze by? Squeeze by? Yeah. Whoa! We got a little uh, section right here where I had the pops before. A glass menorah that we found at TJ Maxx last year. Got this at Walmart last year. At another time and date, I'll uh, actually probably play that. Probably right around Christmas. But look at this. These are already on there. Ah, it's about six feet. Looks 
really nice. So we just gotta finish by putting on the ornaments, which I'm gonna let them do it. I'm gonna sit down, enjoy the show, and you know what? Watch that. We're gonna start it in three, two, one. Oh, that looks great. Hey, that looks very familiar. I recognize that, sweetie. It's the one you got at the university store, right? Yep, my freshman year. And now to put our tree topper on. Topper! Hey, well, he's being a little stubborn. He wants to, I guess he wants to admire that. <laughs> this time is that's why I'm so now that we've gotten that done, we're gonna have to wait till next week to do the outside. But I'm gonna go ahead and actually put my tree in there, the colored one from last year. So it has gotten quite a bit late. And just like our first Christmas vlog, I think I'm gonna stop it here and uh, we're gonna finish this next week. So we'll see you sometime next week. This. This, we're gonna enjoy this. We'll we'll be back. We'll be back sometime next week. There's the button to take you to next week, right there. One week later. So it is a week later, and aha, there she is. Where'd you go? Coffee. Oh, right. So we're headed out of town again, but this time we're doing what? Uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Grocery shopping. Grocery shopping. And then later on today, we're going to finish putting up the lights on the outside, finish putting up the decorations inside the house. But before we could do that, we had to stop off at Dunkin' Donuts to get signature lattes. And an apple juice for Bradley. Yep, an apple juice for Bradley. What's up, bub? What's up? Not much, just the sky. <laughs> and we are too, because I mean, you know, we're awake. But, ah, uh, peppermint mocha latte bring on the holidays all right we're going to Augusta because we want to go to a place called Shaw's get a few things for Thanksgiving and then come back into town so yeah let's get this started it's <laughs> it's been a crazy week you have to stop filming first if you're going I do can't drive and film against the law oh, oh. oh dang it oh. have some coffee while you wait ah <laughs> We're now in Augusta. I'm gonna stop in at Target for a minute. Stay on Target, right, baby? Mm -hmm. See what they got, see if they got anything special. So let's go down. Mm -hmm. That way we can also look around. Also get a couple more ideas, maybe for some extra Christmas stuff. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. You never know. Let's go. Start your attack run. Ass foils and attack positions. Stay on Target, stay on Target, stay on Target, stay on Target. Rod. Mission accomplished, right, Bradley? Uh huh. Lots of good stuff, lots of goodies. Mm -hmm. This is her first time in Target grocery shopping. grocery shopping. She's, she didn't know it really existed. I knew they had like snack aisles. I just didn't think they had like frozen food. Cause I, I go those. Target, I'd be like shoes and purses, electronics maybe. That's not really what you would Christmas think. Christmas yeah. decor at Christmas time. Yeah. I got my Keurig gear. I just didn't think about groceries. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Oh, off to Shaw's. Like the Shawshank Redemption? No. There's However, no... that's also based in Maine. So, hey. Let's go. Hey. See yourself, me, there's infinite possibilities here. So we have arrived at Shaw's and we're gonna go in. Not gonna film anything. A lot of places, especially with COVID, are not really camera friendly. So we're gonna go in there and we're gonna check it out and uh, find a few more things for our dinners, plus our normal grocery shopping. So she's gonna text somebody, I have no idea. Probably a, 
Oh. Mom. Oh. Everything all right? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I'm just letting her know Tyler's home. Oh, okay. Yeah, Tyler's going to spend time with them for the weekend. Um, but anyway, we're going to go in there and then we'll, we'll be right back. Well, I'd definitely like to say that that was a successful uh, shopping experience here at Shaw's. So until next time, it's time to get back into town. And just got to get a couple more things. I think we're going to stop at our Walmart, maybe Hannaford, because there's still a couple more things that we're missing. I can't quite remember what those are. I'll think about it in the car ride. Okay, so, oh, real quick. Got to go back inside, show you this really cool little Christmas display they had right up front. They're so cute. Reminds me of the old days. So cool. One thing that I love to do is watch old Christmas commercials during this time of the year. And the Coca-Cola, the old Coca-Cola. Really cool. We both really enjoy this kind of stuff. So let's head back into town. We still got a long day. Whoo! It's a little chilly out there. Took my breath away. Made a crazy trip into Walmart to get a few extra things. One, some garlic knots for what we're having for dinner tonight, and a couple other things that we needed, especially the French green uh, beans that we use for the green bean casserole on Thanksgiving. And now we're home. So I gotta put away all of this. Don't mind the mess. Sorry about that. And of course, there's Jade. Hey, Jade. Jade, you gonna put up the groceries? It's a bit nuts. All right, so now that we've gotten all that stuff put away, we're gonna take off the old lights. All of these have gone bad. They, they're old. We've had them for a couple years. So we just gotta take them off, take off this, take off all of this, put up new stuff. What we do have we had an extra bit of the 300 count that we were putting on the tree. We realized halfway through trying to put this together that we didn't need all of it. So we ended up unraveling it for no reason. But our normal colors, and you can go back and check on a couple of the other videos if you want to see. They will be linked in the description. Our colors that we've used for since we've been together are... Your clear white lights, red and green, which are, in a sense, traditional Christmas colors, right? Yeah. Well, she likes the white lights, and that's why the tree is the way it is. So we're getting the rest of everything off. Sorry, sweetie. And, yeah, getting it off here. I'm sure the time lapse at the end of the video will make short work of that. And, uh, yeah... If you're ever wondering, yeah, we, we still have her. She hasn't moved. Still waiting for the thing to come and either get her or whatnot. I'm probably going to actually have to move her here soon. Because before long, it's going to be... We're going to be piled in snow. Excuse me. Oh. Thank you. So, all right. Okay, so now that those are off, just got to put up the new ones. And it's a bit bright out still, so how about this? Hey, look at that, and just like that. Ah, that looks great. We plan on putting some more onto the lilac tree. So, got it all displayed right there. That's what it looks like from the outside. It looks great. So it's a little later, it's a little dark outside. I've got this going. I'm trying to get my uh, little bubble lights to go. I went ahead and just took them off. Last year I put them on with it, so it made them a little top heavy and they didn't sit properly. So I'm going with a different approach. I'm gonna attempt to get them on like this and then put them on. So let's see how this goes. Is it gonna be as easy as it looks? Uh, I guess we're gonna Oh, uh, I actually got them all 
to bubble this year. <sighs> See me, I, I like this quirky, random, nerdy type things. I've had that one forever. Baby's first Christmas, that's mine. I It used to have the wheels. It's been through a lot. I actually won these by accident in a claw machine. What would you say? I won those how many years ago? Like our first or second first Christmas? First Christmas? Was it our first? Yeah, because I wouldn't let you put them on the front of the tree. Still don't, not if it's mine. <laughs> well, you guys heard it, so. Oh, man. Yeah. Super fun. Got this one last year. Most of the stuff I've, I've had since last year. I've had that since our first Christmas. I just got the child. There's BB-8 back there. The Golden Girls, Betty White. Ghostbusters. The Falcon. And it looks like it's going into hyperdrive phasmas, uh, I think, on the trying to catch it. Yoda just hanging out back there. I'd actually move him. But this, you guys saw that I got it. But I have decided not to put it in the tree directly. But here we go. So, yep, that's my that's my nerd tree, my nerdy, wonderful tree. Uh, oh yeah, and Brad made that last year. I found that. It's a keepsake. Star Trek. I'm just a big fan of uh, things like that, you know, and I definitely express it in my own way. Just I like the colors. I grew up with with this stuff always wanted the bubble lights ever since I saw them during the scene in Home Alone 2 during the choir scene. So in here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's come back over to just look at this one yet again. Got this new decoration to put up on hers. We got that from Target while we were there earlier. Patches. She's got a little purse, a little mouse. Really cute. Or just something that just kind of just drew me to it. We have our this elf. Used to have it where he had a bunch of different uh, types of uh, bulbs that would do different things, you know, for that. And we used to have one where it looked like he was actually working on it when I was a kid. That's that's been gone for for ages. So we just kind of kept them like that. We love the fact that this automatically came with the uh, pine cones throughout the entire thing. And I mean, we've got a lot more ornaments that we might put up and, and stuff. A little Christmas display where my pops are. Clark Griswold. I mean, just, just so much fun. Haven't gotten to use it yet. Hoping to use it this holiday season. The border of the window. It looks great, babies. Thank you. <sighs> kind of woke up early. We were busy. Didn't really eat anything. So started to eat real quick. And uh, I think we're going to just say a couple quick words. And then I'm going to be signing off. Sorry it took two whole weeks to make this. It's probably out sometime this next week, uh, about a week before Thanksgiving. So, yeah, hope everybody's doing well. Took a little bit of time off, uh, you know, every now and then. It's been quite interesting of of a a lot of like pretty much the final quarter. And sorry, I've been up all day, so I'm a little little tired, but you know. Anyway, I'm going to finish eating and uh, 
we want to enjoy our trees and just the rest of the holiday season. We'll be back very soon. Very, very soon. Well, look at what we have here. I completely forgot to do an outro. And holy heck, it's been about three weeks. Maybe a little longer. We've already done Thanksgiving, as you guys have already seen. Oh, man. Here we are. Maybe can do that work. And I gotta finish this. I'm wondering uh, why I've been wincing. I've actually have been dealing with some teeth issues. Which I was gonna do an update for. But didn't have time. What's going on? And I still got another video to get out before Christmas. A lot going on. So, and maybe a couple more. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for coming along. This one's chronicalized. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Stay safe, stay strong, stay positive, and party on, dude. He's a mighty bumble bumble. Of course, Romeo is like, I, I don't care about any of this. I'm just gonna sit down on the outside table. That's cool. I'm just gonna chill out here with the all the decorations and stuff. Oh, it looks so good. So, like we said in the last video, sorry it took so long, but this is the end of the video. We love you guys. Happy holidays.